Hi, it's day two of our Sherry Top and Dress Sew Along sponsored by Stitch and Pretties. I'm very excited to get this thing moving. We've cut everything out, it's time to sew. We have to create this oh so interesting uh, bodice. So let's not waste time, let's just do it. So step one says we're gonna lay our front bodice out right side up, which we've done that. We're gonna fold the top portion of our bodice down so that the tie is folded exactly in half. So this is gonna fold exactly in half and it's gonna meet here, okay? So we bring it this way and we want the tie to be folded exactly in half, which means you're meeting up these kind of slits that we made here. Okay, so take your time, be intentional about it so that you're, you know, really precise. I mean, there is some um, bit of forgiveness, but you know. All right, so here we are. We are exactly in half here, and now we need to meet these, all right? So this is what we have, all right? Easy peasy, yes, easy peasy. Now I'm gonna clip these together because, you know. So using our regular sewing machine and a one quarter inch seam allowance, we're going to start at this short end of the V. So this is a short V side, this is the long side, right? So we're gonna start here and we're going to stitch from here with a quarter inch seam allowance to the point. When we get to the point, we're going to make sure our needle is down. We're gonna lift up our presser foot and we're gonna pivot this and we're going to sew to here, pivot again, and sew to here. All right, now you can use a long straight stitch. Um, you can even use a lightning bolt like stretch stitch. Um, you could use a triple stretch stitch. You could use um, a long or narrow zigzag for this step. It really is up to you. Now I will say I have used my serger successfully, um, but it's always best, at least the first time making something to really just do exactly what the tutorial says so that you begin to understand the why, um, why it's being asked that you do it a certain way. So because I love you all, I'm gonna use my sewing machine and I'm going to do exactly what the tutorial says. Okay, so here we are. Now if we unfold it and just lay it out. First of all, the first thing you notice is that it now looks like a normal bodice, right? All right, so before we do anything else, we're gonna set this bodice to this, this front bodice to the side. And we're going to repeat the exact same thing on our back bodice. Something to notice, and I only say this because I have made mistakes in the past. This piece here, this tie piece, it's coming at, it's, 
it's facing the opposite direction as the front tie piece did. Remember, when we looked at the front tie piece and we were doing this, it was, it was facing that way. That's what you want. They need to be facing opposite directions. If the, if, if the back, if they face the same direction, you've cut, the, cut one of them wrong. So, ask me how I know. I had been down this road before. So, just pay close attention to how you do that. All right, so let's just repeat exactly what we just did. We are ready to go to our sewing machine and we're going to do what we just did, beginning at the short, um, the short V, the so short side of the V. There we go, I'll get it some, at some point today. And we're going to sew to here, pivot, sew to here, pivot, sew to here, sew to there, pivot. All right, let's do it. All right, so I lost a game of Bob and Chicken. Um, so that took a little longer than it should have. Um, so I've got some threads here and there. All right, now we're going to, uh, from each of these pieces, we are going to snip out the V right here. We're not gonna go through the stitch line. We're gonna go kind of up to it. Um, and we're gonna clip a cor our corner here and we're gonna clip our corner here. Now that we've done that with both, it's time to turn our ties right side out. All right, now that we've uh, assembled our bodice pieces, it's time for day three.